I'm Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today we are going to be going over all of the things that I've made in January. Um, is it just me or has this been like the longest month ever? Like as I was pulling out the things I've made, I was like, I feel like I made this like two or three months ago, but no, it was just two or three weeks ago. I think because, so here in Charleston, it's very not tropical climate but it is hot and humid um and like never snows and then we had this historic snowfall where like five six inches of snow fell and piled up see i don't even know how to talk about snow um and so the whole city shut down like there were no restaurants no gas stations no school no work nothing like nobody did anything for like five days. I mean, even our airport shut down. No one could come in or leave for that matter. Um, it was crazy. So I had just a lot of free time on my hands where I was just stuck here at home with nothing to do. I didn't lose power or anything like that. So I just had lots and lots and lots of time to sew. So naturally, in a snowstorm, one makes sundresses. <laughs> I know it seems silly and like counterintuitive like you would think you'd be wanting to make like warm clothes not me because I knew this was a flash in the pan this was all going to pass and then it would be another 20 years before we saw snow again um, it has been really cold though so I haven't been able to film any of them because like I'd get hypothermia like going outside and trying to film these sundresses so starting to warm up a little bit i'll go out and i'll be able to get some um photos or some video of me in the dresses but for now you'll have to deal with just seeing them on a hanger okay so the first one oh shoot do i even know what pattern this is eek maybe not um, I'll have to look it up and then do like a little overlay. So this pattern is whatever it says right here. Um, <laughs> this is it. Um, it is a really great, I want to say rayon twill, maybe silk rayon twill. I got this fabric from a shop in Montreal that I can't remember the name of right now. Um, who it's almost borderline like an Elliot Beerman type of store if you're familiar with New York City's fabric shops. I mean everything in there is like silk, everything in there is really expensive, <laughs> everything in there is really nice. Um, so this actually is the most expensive handmade item that I own but my boyfriend gifted me the fabric because we were there for our anniversary so um, and it was nine years which is a lot um so he gifted me this which was really nice so i ended up making just a fit and flare dress it has princess seams and a circle skirt um and yeah i just really love it i put in a green invisible zipper which i thought was really fun and cute little sleeves and yeah i just think this is going to be a really great charleston dress i did also get some blue suede shoes which are pretty much exactly like this blue color here um so it's kind of like a matchy matchy moment going so i've got a whole like thing planned for this as soon as the weather warms up i know i'll be wearing this one a ton so yeah i'm really excited and when i wear it i'll think of my boyfriend since he got me the fabric they had a few different colorways of this one but i was just so drawn to this bright lime green isn't that just so pretty with the purples I really love this fabric so much and it's really like substantial like I feel like this is gonna hold up and last like a really long time which I'm excited about so yeah there's that one let me just toss that on the floor for a minute okay the next one is something really fun that I threw together honestly in like an afternoon um, I got this fabric most of you saw it on my Instagram um, I went to Joanne and this is part of their new line called like Endless Sea or something like that. Um, and basically it is like a cotton shirting stripe. It looks like seersucker but it's not actual seersucker. It's just striped cotton and it has this gorgeous like embroidered um, border. So it's a double border so each selvage edge has this on there i want to say i got a yard and a half and it was 
enough for this but not a lot left over like I didn't have a lot of the border left over at all um so I wouldn't go less than that if if I were you um but this pattern is the um Seamwork Loretta and I saw a lot of you picked up subscriptions to Seamwork after my favorites video that I posted earlier this month um and I apologize, I don't know why I thought it was $6 a month. It must have been when I started and then they changed it and I just never paid any attention to it. Whatever it is, it's still very affordable. I want to say it's maybe $8 now a month um, for the two patterns. And then they have another option where you can just get the one and it's even cheaper. I didn't still commit it to memory, obviously, but... Um, but either way, so I apologize if I misled you in any way. I did not mean to do that. I was just going off memory, um, which I probably shouldn't have done. And I'm still doing it. So I haven't learned my lesson yet. So basically, don't listen to anything I have to say. <laughs> just go to seamwork.com. I'll leave a link in the description box where you can um, get there and get a subscription so that you can download this pattern for yourself but I just thought it's really cute so you'll see when you get to there you can either wear it up on your shoulders like this or you can pull it down because this is elastic to over your shoulders like so so it can be kind of like a fun flirty little thing and obviously I put the hem maybe I should do on this side there's plenty of room um I put the border on the hem here and then I also did the entire sleeve so when you get this pattern, both this hem and the sleeve hem are curved and you just need to straighten those out in order to get them to lay on the hem, which at the end of the day, you can't really tell when you're wearing it that it's not a curved hem. Um, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it was really quick to sew up, guys. Like, I mean, I think I did it in the course of like one movie from taping it all together, cutting out the pattern, cutting out the fabric and sewing it up. I think it took maybe two or three hours. So really fun, really cute top. I can't wear it to wear it with like jeans or like white jeans or, you know, something like that. So love it. Right? Super cute. Um, okay. What else? Um, I also made, okay. So What's on top here? Oh, this one's on top. I talked about this a little bit in my plans video, if you saw that. Um, let me get this out. This is half of <laughs> the Cynthia Rowley 2250 pattern. And it's only half because this is a beast of a pattern, you guys. It's taken me already like three working days. Like, I want to say maybe... A total of like 12 or 15 hours that sounds like a lot has it been that many maybe not I don't know but it's taken me a long time like three days in a row of only working on this not only like I also did other work and just in terms of sewing time three days of sewing time um, and all I've got is this bodice but it's underlined and it's lined and I added boning to it and you can see there's like a gazillion pleats and darts and there's gathering in the back there's elastic back there there's these tabs like is, there's a lot going on but i think it's coming together really well and i'm super excited about it so this is like a work in progress but i am really proud of this bodice so i wanted to include it in my january makes because i made it all that's left is the skirt which the skirt has also pleats maybe like two or three on front and back and then inseam pockets, and then a back zipper, and hem, and then I'll be done. So it is like the, I'm drawing in, I'm finishing it, but um, but either way, wanted to show you where I got on that. Um, next up is this, also technically still, oh, I'm falling, um, technically still a work in progress, but barely, like I've got 30 minutes left. Um, I need to, so the lining for the arm side and the lining for the waistband and finish the hem. But this is Butterick B5490. It's a Suzy Chin pattern. Um, I've made this one, I want to say this is my third one. And you guys know me, I don't remake patterns very often at all. But I always get compliments on this one whenever I wear my other versions. So I made another one. This fabric is from 
Elliot Bierman. Elliot Bierman in New York City. Um, I can't remember what it is, but I think that it's a rayon um, or viscose because they import a lot from Italy. A viscose. Mm, I have no idea. Maybe cotton. Visco well, I'm definitely getting cotton and viscose feel from it, but I can't remember what type of fabric it is. But anyways, this is it. Um, did I put, yep, it's got inseam pockets. It's got a back zipper, which as you saw from the front, I did a hot pink zipper for, which I thought was really cute. And it just has these really great like front pleats. I guess I'm just really into pleats right now. Um, so the fabric is really nice. It is sort of heavy and substantial, but I thought that that would be really cute with the pleats, all the pleats in the skirt. It's going to really create that like bell shape that I think is really cute in the in flare dresses so yeah so that's that and it's monochromatic well it's just like all neutrals you know and honestly I don't have a lot of fabrics or a lot of garments like that in my closet all of my dresses are usually like colorful and bright um and so I'm not sure why I was drawn to this. I remember hemming and hawing about it in the store. And then finally I was like, okay, I'll just get enough to make a skirt. But whenever I got back here, I realized, you know what? I have enough for a whole dress. So why make a skirt when you can make a dress? That's my motto. So yeah, so that's this one. Really cute, excited to finish it up. Um, hopefully I'll do that like any day now. Okay, the next thing um, I have committed to a refashion a month. One refashion per month. Um, and now that I mention it, I didn't include that in my plans video. I have the fabric and everything. Darn. Oh well, you'll have to be surprised. Um, and so this month I decided to do Butterick 5181, which is this dress here and really I chose it because I knew the bodice the way the bodice is designed would have a lot of smaller pieces and that's usually best for a refashion because you don't have like yardage and yardage and yardage to work from so this is it I made it out of a velvet um it's actual velvet not velour I don't think um anyways and honestly the pattern it's very low cut. It's really, really low cut. So I wore it last night. We had date night. We went in to dinner and saw a magic show, Adam Trent. Do any of you guys, I guess it's part of like the Broadway tour. So he was on Broadway for a while. He's been on Ellen. Anyways, he was really funny and the magic was good. Um, it's not like a huge like multi-million dollar production or anything but the magic was really good and you could tell he's like very passionate about what he does which was really nice anyways so I ended up wearing this but I wore like a black turtleneck underneath it I actually took video footage before we went um to create like its own video so you can see what the dress looked like before I cut it all up and what it looks like now so hopefully I'll have that edited and posted maybe next week sometime um, either way, so stay tuned for that, but you know, here it is. Doesn't look like much on the hanger. Just a gathered skirt, has a wide waistband, and then has these like shaped cups um, with a very, very low V. Um, so keep that in mind if you are generous up top. Um, I wouldn't recommend this pattern for you. You'll be falling out everywhere. But it works um, as like a pinafore or like as a jumper, you know, with something underneath it. I think that's mostly how I'll wear it. Either the tank top underneath it or maybe I can find a cute bralette or something. You know, the lacy ones that look like clothes, even though it's a bra. Um, anyways, so there's that. Um, also, I should mention what I'm wearing is a January make. This is the Sew My Style January Project. It is the Sunny Top from Friday Patterns. Um, if you're not participating in Sew My Style, or you are, but you aren't a member of the Facebook group, then you don't know, but there, this pat, oh gosh, I don't know, I never know how to say bad things about, <laughs> about patterns. There were a lot of issues with this pattern for a lot of people. Having everyone in that face group together talking about the same exact pattern you could see some definite trends popping up namely with the shoulders 
um also just with the fit like I ended up cutting an extra large and it was too small um so I wear medium in the stores if that <laughs> gives you any point of reference there I ended up having to add like four inches to the waist and like even more to the hip um I ended up like there has a rounded him and I just don't feel like that's very flattering for people with hips um so I ended up taking most of that out um I added a neck band instead of the fold over and top stitch method that was a lot of people were having issues because you want to use like a lighter weight knit and a lot of times you'll get a lot of like rippling if you do that fold over method and you don't have the proper um like what's that stay tape or any of that kind of stuff you get funky looking necklines so a lot of people ended up being really discouraged um a lot of people ended up swearing off knits <laughs> and saying why what did i even get into this which was really hard for me to read because i just know that this is not representative of what it's like to sew with knits necessarily you just kind of have to know a little bit more about what you're doing and a lot of people is their very first time sewing with knits at all a lot of these people i feel like are beginner sewers so they didn't know anything about what a shoulder seam is supposed to look like and how angled it is and so and then there's like a set in sleeve which was hard for people anyway so hopefully as we move into well february is like a coat so i don't know how people are going to do with that one but to anyone out there that is part of that train and is part of this group that was discouraged by the sunny tea please stick with it and don't get discouraged um if you ever have questions or anything tag me in the facebook group and i'll do my best to help you so um i i think it's i think you, i'm just lindsay johns on facebook because you can't use your business account but you can also dm me at inside the hem whatever anyways you know how to find me let me know if you have questions and i'll do my best to help you because i don't want you guys to like start sewing through this experience which so my style is great for a beginner sewer because you get so many opportunities and ways to try different patterns and stuff um so i don't want you guys to start out and think that this is just how it is the very last thing that i made and i feel like you guys have seen this a lot i wore it in some videos beginning of this month um is this lovely here um so yeah so this um sorry about the deodorant um this is a the fabric is a sateen from fabric mart fabrics and i just loved working with this sateen for whatever reason sateen is not something that i was really drawn to in the past i think maybe normally they can be really shiny and this one is not that shiny it almost just looks like um like a heavier weight mid-weight cotton um but but yeah it was it was really great to sew with especially with all these little pleats that you have here and in the skirt um i just love making it so much the only thing and the pattern for this i don't have it out i'll put it here on the screen somewhere um also linked down below but um the way that the pattern had you install the lining didn't allow for you to um hide the zipper tape which is just a personal preference if you want to see oof this is what it looks like whenever you can conceal it um you see the zipper tape is all nicely placed between the main fabric and the lining and it just looks i don't know that looks prettier to me than to have the surged edges with the zipper tape exposed but small detail i only know one way to do that um and so for this pattern, the way that they had you put the lining together, by the time I got to the point where I would normally do my little trick for enclosing it, um, it was already too late and I couldn't do it. So it had to go in this way. Um, I don't know, I think because of the wrap, yeah, definitely. So because it's wrapped, um, you just couldn't use my way of doing it to enclose it. I'm sure there's a way, I just, didn't really want to <laughs> take the time to <laughs> learn another way so it looks like this it's not bad it's just me being picky um also 
anytime a dress has a self belt that is separate I don't know I just feel really annoyed by them usually like I can't keep track of them and I always feel like they're coming undone and falling down and they're usually just really annoying to me so this time I decided okay well I'm gonna try and attach it so I attached it along the center back seam which in hindsight wasn't a great idea because you the invisible zipper is not invisible I mean it's not bad but it's not perfectly invisible there um and so there's that but other than that um I do like having it attached so maybe I'll try and do like waist um loops I guess I don't know uh I don't know I don't know but I do want some way of it to like hold itself up a little bit um, whenever you're wearing it and whenever you're not wearing it. But I was able to get some great pattern matching, which I was super happy about. So yeah, so really, really happy with this one. I love it a lot and it's going to get a ton of wear and yeah, just really, really great. I'm on the hunt for more great sateens. So if you know of any or if you have one that you really love, let me know and I will buy it up because I had a great time sewing with this. Anyways, so... That is all the sewing that I did in January. Again, it was a very busy month, but I had like a lot of time on my hands um, with the storm and everything. So hopefully I'll be able to get out, get some of these on, get them filmed so you can see them on an actual body, not just on a hanger. Um, but in the meantime, uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know like what you made in January. If you've got a blog or a vlog, leave a link so we can all find it and we can see what everyone's been making. I love seeing what you guys make. It's very inspirational and motivational and it's just like one of my favorite things about the sewing community. So don't hesitate to brag about yourself in the comments um, loud and proud and let everybody know what you've been doing. But for me, that's it today. I will see you all next time. Bye!